Yo, what is up guys, Stale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV, hopefully you guys are doing well, if you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So some bad news in the welterweight division, and I apologise to G-Man for stealing his title in regards to this one, but in the immortal words of Mick Hennessy, what the fuck is going on with Virgil Ortiz Jr.? Of course, this weekend he was supposed to be fighting Imantis Stanionis. That fight was for the WBA regular title held by Stanionis. Two unbeaten guys, two hard punching fighters, two guys who are staking their claim to be the top contender in the welterweight division. And this fight would have really cemented the winner as, in my opinion at least, the, the clear cut most deserving title challenger to the Spence Crawford winner. However, once again the fight has been postponed, and it comes from Virgil Ortiz's side. In the last few minutes as I record this video, Ortiz, his team, they've announced that he's had to pull out. They've not given any official reasoning as of yet, not that I can see on social media, but I'm assuming it is down to injury, or more than likely, this illness in which he's been plagued with. I believe the illness is called rhabdomolysis. I may have totally got that wrong, um, but it's quite a rare condition from what I've been reading. And it's a condition that can affect a fighter in the event of a weight cut. It's actually got some pretty serious consequences if left untreated or if it gets out of control. So essentially, rhabdo occurs when damaged muscle tissue releases its proteins and electrolytes into the blood, and the resulting substances can damage the heart, kidneys, other organs, and even cause permanent disability or even death. So, it's a serious illness. Now, some have speculated that this sort of illness can come after taking certain banned substances, performance enhancers. Certain people have speculated that, including Blair Cobbs, of course, um, who Virgil Ortiz threatened to sue. But regardless, is it this illness flaring up once again because it's caused him some trouble in his career in the last couple of years? Um, and yeah, right now, Virgil Ortiz, he was at a point in time where he garnered so much hype, so much excitement from boxing fans, but right now, that momentum is completely dead. You know, he's not fought since August of last year, and that was against Michael McKinson. McKinson's a good fighter, but, you know, he, he wasn't a Kavalauskas or even a Murray Tucker who he previously fought. That was a step back in competition, and he only fought once last year, not fought once this year. So, the inactivity of Virgil Ortiz is, be is beginning to be a problem, and, you know, if this illness has been recurring, then... Virgil may not be in a good spot right now, because this sort of illness can seriously affect training, weight cuts, etc. So yeah, this could be very detrimental to the career of Virgil Ortiz Jr. going forwards. He's still only young at 25, but, you know, I, I just hope this latest pullout is just a regular injury, and it's not this illness flaring back up. So again, I, I just hope it's a regular injury and um, not this illness because it, it has some serious consequences going beyond boxing but just life in general. Another thing that has to be considered is this illness could be a potential side effect to a so-called safe and effective medical procedure that many people undertook in the last couple of years. Uh, again, if you, if you actually Google this... Um, this illness has been reported as a rare side effect of the so-called safe and effective procedure. Um, but again, I'm speculating. I am speculating. The main thing for me is Virgil Ortiz gets his health in order. But again, I'm speculating because it could just be an injury. But if that was the case, you, you would have thought they would have said that right away. And getting injured this late in camp, a day before the weigh-in doesn't seem all that likely to me. So, if I were to hazard a guess, I would say this is to do with his ongoing illness. Maybe it's flared back up as he's tried to make weight, something like that. But yeah, it seems like a serious situation. 
And I think there's more to meets the eye surrounding Virgil Ortiz right now. A guy who a couple of years ago I was very high on, but due to these circumstances, I have serious doubts about this man's career going forwards. I have to be honest. I, ha I have serious doubts. Let's just have our fingers crossed that um, it's not serious. And hopefully I'm just jumping to conclusions that are not valid. That's what I'll say. But yeah, hopefully he gets better soon. Disappointing news though, because I was looking forward to this fight. One of the fights I was looking forward to most in the upcoming schedule. But anyway, share your thoughts below. Been your guy Delboy. Peace.